short stripe, top of the key, pulled up, had a notion, but didn't go, and a foul is going to be called against Fort Kitt. They were uh, climbing on him pretty good. Check C who's going to be on. Jason Neto calls yeah. for the foul there. Foul is on Neto, first on him, first team foul. It'll be terrible with the ball off. They, uh, rather, they sack it up both sides of the line. Out of the corner becomes not a duty. Duty working against Martin. Fakes one way, like to shoot, gets it on the baseline, feeds inside. That's Pelkey with the ball. He gets it up, back to uh, Duty, up and in off the glass. That terrible lead at eight to two. Bringing the ball back, Martin now for Fort Kent, up a little behind the back dribble. He takes it out along the left sideline. Down to the corner, goes now to uh, Tardy. Tardy is bumped. He was uh, really nailed down there, but no whistle. Martin with the ball, working against Duty, gets it out front. Shot is up and in off the glass by Martin. He's got four in the ball game. He's really going to work now. Eight to four. Caribou with a four-point lead. St. Peter bringing the ball up over to duty along the near side in four court. Working against uh, Thibodeau. Here's a runner up and in. Two-pointer. Five for five now for Caribou. They made their first five field goal attempts. That's incredible. Ten to four. Caribou by six. Down to the corner. Out it comes to Martin in the elbow. Up no good. Rebound right back to Pelkey. Feeds off now to uh, number 23. That is uh, Susie. Down low, Pelkey banks one up and in. He's got six in the ball game. That was Jason St. Peter. That's St. Peter. I meant St. Peter. I said Pelkey. Martin bringing it back now, and Fort Kent wants timeout of a timeout on the court. At 5:31 remaining in the first period of play, the score: Calibur 12, Fort Kent 4. We'll be right back. Medical Center providing you and your family with the best diagnostic equipment available. A CTU is a special x-ray machine that takes three-dimensional pictures and takes uh, slices of the body, all the vessels, and organs inside. Using the new spiral CT scanner benefits the patient with less radiation in time, no traveling cells for service, and reduces the need for callbacks. Investing in new technology today keeps your tomorrows healthy. The Aristic Medical Center, your partner in health. Back here at the Caribou High School gym. 5.31 remaining in the first period of play with Caribou up 12 to four over the Fort Kent Warriors. And uh, Caribou five for five from the field here. Six for six now. Six for six, right. Yeah, without last one, yeah. It'll be Martin taking the ball out now. Uh, check that, it'll be uh, one of the Thibodeaux. That'll be uh, Corey Thibodeau taking the ball out. And it comes to uh, Martin with the ball now, top of the key. He's working against Selke. Left now, it goes to uh, Cardi. There's a shot up, no good. A rebound is batted away. Quickly down court, Duty all alone. Drives, puts it up and stops. <laughs> Duty stops one, and that makes it 14 to four. Now Carroll's got him by 10. Martin bringing it back now for the Warriors. Top of the key, out left it goes down to Thibodeau. Corey Thibodeau with the ball. Down to the corner it goes to Matt Thibodeau. Thibodeau along the baseline. Puts one up. No good. Whistle on a play and a foul going to be called, I think, against uh, St. Peter. Right. And the basket will count. I don't think the basket went in, did it? Yes, it did. Yeah, it rolled around and, uh, and it finally went through. And Matt uh, Thibodeau will go to the line, try to make it a three-point play. He's there for one. Puts the ball on the pine a couple of times and gets set. Spins that ball. Takes carefully. Dips and fires off the forehead. Bang. It's good, and that makes it 14 to 7. The Caribou up by 7. That's Susie with the ball up the left sideline. He's working against, uh, who is it? Tardy. Cross courts it over to Duty. Duty gets into the paint. Feeds down low on the baseline. Shot is up. It's no good off the left side. Almost went. Got a whistle on a play and a foul going to be called against Fort Kent. Foul, I think, is on uh, Corey Thibodeau. They're doing a real nice job finding the open man, being real patient about getting the uh, good shot off. Instead of Jason St. Peter on the line, he'll be there for two. He was nailed in the process. 4.39 remaining in the first period of play. Caribou out to an early lead here. Shot is good, but no. It's off the back side of the iron. Comes out over the lip of the rim. Bounces high. St. Peter will have another. Bounced it on the pine a couple of times off the right ear. It's no good. Missed two. 
front porch to the back porch. Duty with the rebound. He banks it up off the glass. No good to rebound up. No good to rebound. It's scramble for Chase out of the corner by Tardy. Tardy. Quickly up court it now comes to uh, Thibodeau. Cut inside to uh, Matt. Matt down low with the ball being guarded by Duty. Gets it back out to Corey Thibodeau. Two Thibodeaus in the ball game for Fort Kent. Out front now to Martin. Martin, premier ball player, fires straight away. No good. Whistle foul. Foul is against Carroll. And Ryan Martin will go to the line for the Warriors. Three foul shots as he would take, take took the shot behind the two-point line. Ryan Martin, one of the premier ball players in Eastern Maine. He'd play with anybody's ball club, but again, it's over the Thibodeaux, isn't it? Yeah, very talented, especially Corey. Corey's had yep. a real nice career at Fort Kent. Shot is no good. Boy, then not much productivity from the foul line. Either team here right for the moment. Ryan Martin on the line. He missed the front porch. Fires off the right ear. Good. He'll have another. Three to make two. Pounds it on the fine. Hit. Fires. It is good. And that makes it 14 to 9. Terrible by five. Is that five is their lead is to win. They were up by 10. St. Peter with the ball. Down to the corner of a goal. On a give and go. Palki. The ball is deflected out over the end line. Uh, Scott Raymond. Ball is deflected out over the end line. It'll be Fort Kent with the ball out. And it comes to Martin. Martin's going to bring it up. Terrible back on defense. They're playing a half-court man-to-man. Martin comes right on the near side to uh, Neto. Neto, the tardy. Back out, it comes to uh, Matt Thibodeau. Thibodeau in the elbow. Gets it on the near side. Cross goes it over to Corey Thibodeau. Thibodeau down along the baseline. Head fakes. Gets it up. It's jammed. Puts it up again. No good. Rebound. Scramble for it. Take it away. By Raymond. Raymond with the ball now. Gets it up to duty along the right side. He brings it into four court. Top of the key. Pulls up and fires. No good off the back side of the iron. Ripped out of there by Corey Thibodeau. Up the left side of Martin. Down to the corner of it goes to Neto. He fires. No good off the left side of the basket. Rebound comes down now to uh, Raymond. Raymond up the right side. Working against Neto. Bounce pass down along the baseline to St. Peter. But the ball is uh, off. Oh, player control foul. Foul is going to be against. Adam Pelkey, and it'll be Fort Kent with the ball out. Pelkey's going to go out of the ball game. And uh, Lance Belanger is in. Lance Belanger is into the ball game. Two quick right. fouls on Adam Pelkey. That could be big because he's the guy uh, Coach Holmes is expecting to uh, play defense on Ryan Martin. Martin bringing the ball out. All right. Belanger out on him. He feeds down low to Neto. Neto to Matt Thibodeau in the paint. He puts it up no good, but a whistle on a play and a foul. Going to be called against duty. Thibodeau will go to the line for two. Fouled in the act. He was nailed. He's practically mugged it in there. Second time he's drawn contact. And, you know, despite the really fast start by Caribou, Fort Kent makes a couple foul shots here. Back to within three. Matt Thibodeau on the line spins that ball. 14 to 9. Caribou with the lead. 3 one remaining in the first period. Shot is good. He'll have another. Matt Thibodeau. Nails the uh, front end. Let's see what he does now. He's a cool customer. He goes to the basket with power, I'll tell you. Second shot, bounces side. No good to rebound from down to Duty. Duty takes it right up the middle. He's got Cardi out on uh, behind him. Feeds off right pass meant for uh, St. Peter. He goes astray and out over the end line. It'll be, I believe, terrible retaining possession. Off in uh, Fort Fairfield. Who went out of the ball game? Brian Susie went out and Steve Griffith uh, yep. seeing his first action for Caribou tonight. Griffith uh, has usually started in backcourt. Here's a shot put up by Belanger. It's no good, but he's traveling with the ball. Fort Kent's going to take it over in backcourt. Caribou's going to play uh, pressure defense. They're going to try to trap it. All right. Corey Thibodeau taking the ball out, and it comes now to Neto. Neto uh, I'm sorry, Martin. Martin bringing the ball up. They fall back now on defense. Here's a runner up by Martin. It's no good. Rebound ripped out of there by Duty. Duty bringing the ball out a little behind the back dribble. Top of the key, drives the paint, has it deflected away from him, and stole it away by Fort Kent. That's uh, Tardy all alone puts it up and in. And it makes it 14 to 12, and now Fort Kent is within two. Up the left side, Duty. Duty trying to get a lot of baseline. His double team puts it up anyway. No good. Rebound up. No good. Rebound. Scramble for it. Taken away by Martin. Martin bringing it back. Over the time nine. Down the left sideline. He 
feeds back now to Neto. Neto has it jammed on him. Rebound comes down to St. Peter. Quickly up now to Duty. Duty on a give and go. Up, it's good, and that is Belanger. Lance Belanger nails one, and it makes it 16 to 12, and quickly Fort Fe uh, rather Caribou's back out on top by four. Martin bringing it back. He's working against Belanger. Belanger comes out on it. Takes one way, drives the other, gets down to the paint, wheels, deals up, it's good. Nice move by Martin. And it makes it 16-14, it's Caribou by two. Duty with the ball. In the forecourt, calls out a play number. They're gonna work, they're gonna overload to the right. He pulls up, had an ocean, didn't go, now he does. It's bang! Three-pointer. Tried to draw some contact there, and did. Didn't so impede the play, right. as they say. 19-14, Caribou quickly up by five now, and that's three-pointer by duty. But inside, Matt Thibodeau wheels, deals, it's good! And it makes it 19-16, it's Caribou by three. All right, Griffith bringing the ball up now, and he's off his sneaker, and it's picked up quickly by Neto of Fort Kent. He had an ocean, he doesn't go, he gets it over to Martin, Martin fires, bang! And it's not at 19 apiece, and Cara Fort Kent has come from 10 down. Duty with the ball, working against Martin. Duty's going to bring it back out deep. Hands it off now to Griffith. Griffith looks over at the bench. Gives it now to uh, Belanger. Belanger on a weave. It goes to uh, number 25. That's Scott Raymond. Down low along the baseline. Up it's good. Raymond. That was uh, no. St. Peter. St. St. Peter. A nice dish by Stephen Griffith. He had both. He had Duty to his left and uh, St. Peter to the right. He said the right person there on St. Peter. Makes it 21-19. Terrible with the lead. 20 seconds remaining in the first period. That's uh, Corey Thibodeau with the ball out along the left sideline at fourth court. Gives it to Tardy. Tardy working against Griffith. Try to get into the paint. Can't feed over to Martin. Martin fires. No good. Rebound. Scramble for it. Take it away by Duty. Duty brings it right up the middle. Has it deflected momentarily. Feeds down low. Belanger up and in off the glass. Beautiful move by Belanger with power to the basket. And that's the end of the first period. At the end of one, the score, Caribou 23, Fort Kent 19, will be right back. At First Citizens Bank, personal service is more than a smile and a handshake. First Citizens Bank loan officers understand Aroostook County. They'll work with you to make sure that your loan meets your needs. You'll get answers to your questions, prompt decisions, and loan closings at your convenience. At First Citizens Bank, personal service is a smile and a handshake and much much more first citizen bank your local banking partner i'm bob buck and manager smith ij plus save even more on your food bill with our weekly in-store special hi i'm nathan garner produce manager we carry your freshest and fruits and vegetables available including organically grown produce and locally grown potatoes food baskets made to order anytime my staff and i are anxious to serve you in the nicest way i'm donna nelson Bakery Deli Manager at Smyth IGA. For the largest variety of bakery deli products in the city, come see us. Smyth IGA, where service and force can make a difference. The auto out of bounds to start the second period of play is Fort Kent. That's Martin with the ball. Terrible went 11 for 14. That's from correct the, from in the first the field. quarter. In the first period, 11 for 14 from the field. That's pretty good shooting. All right, top of the key, Neto fires. Good. That makes it 23 to 21. Caribou's lead is two. Duty with the ball in backcourt. Up the left sideline. Quickly in the forecourt now. Working against Matt Thibodeau. Drops it off now to Belanger. Belanger with the ball. Working it out front. He decides to drift right as they overload to the right. And the ball is deflected out over the sideline. As Griffith had trouble controlling. It was off in Fort Kent. So it'll be uh, Caribou with the ball out. Right in front of the scorer's bench. Down low. Stolen away by Matt Thibodeau on the inbound. Give it to Martin. Martin bringing it back. Ryan over the timeline. Top of the key working against Belanger. Goes to the foul line. He backs out of there. Now he's going to recock the gun. Because we're going to do it over again. He's down to the corner. Goes to Neto. He fires from there. Wide of the mark. Off the back. Uh, off the side of the backboard. Comes down to uh, Raymond. Raymond feeds over to Griffith. Griffith taking it up. Now gets a screen from Raymond into forecourt. Down to the corner. Goes to Duty. Duty underneath. All alone. Up it. No good. Missed the bunny. That was uh, John Hamilton who's into the ball game for Caribou. Shot is up by Neto. Good. As he went the length of the court, put it up and in. And it's not at 23-23. Just underway in a second period of play. Duty with the ball, working it to the right. Uh, 
of the key. Over to Belanger on the near side to Griffith. Down low to Raymond. Raymond working against Neto along the baseline. Double team backhand. What up an in. Beautiful play. Raymond with a little underhand. With a lot of English on it. And he nails it. Makes it 25-23. Terrible up by two. 6-18 remaining in the first half. All right. That's Corey Thibodeau with the ball. Left side of the lane. Up. It's good. He nails one. Makes it not to 25 apiece. Duty bringing it back now. Pressure all over the court, over the timeline. Top of the key, down to the elbow. Feeds over to Belanger. Belanger gets it back out to Duty. Duty to the left of the paint. Feeds down low to pass. That was made for Hamilton. Goes astray and out over the end line. A lot of substitutions here now uh, for Corey Kent. Lucas Lovec into the game. Chad Tardy out. Uh, Lance Belanger and John Hamilton. And Steve Griffith having a seat. Uh, we'll, Jason uh, Dicey. Jason St. Peter and Ryan Susi all in for we'll pick him up. Ryan Susi taking the ball out out of the corner of a goal. Uh, who's that? St. Peter? Uh, yeah, Pelkey. Adam Pelkey. On the near side. Top of the key. On the near side, it comes to Raymond. He checks inside. Nothing there. Top of the key now to uh, Pelkey. Shot no good. Rebound up by duty. Good. Off the glass. And it makes it 27-25. Give credit to Scott Raymond there for a very nice pass. Martin bringing the ball back now for uh, for Kent. He's uh, working against Pelkey. On the near side, it comes to Neto. Neto checks inside. No cut there. That's Saucier. Saucier with the ball. Gives it to Corey Thibodeau. Down low on the baseline. Uh, Ryan Martin with a whistle on a play and a pushing foul. Going to be called against Martin. And it'll be terrible with the ball out. 5-13 remaining in the first half. Terrible leads it by 2, 27-25. A good ball game here so far. All right, Susie taking the ball out there. Uh, the court gets going to apply pressure all over the court as Neto goes out of the ball game. And who came in? 50. Raymond. That's, That's Raymond. Um, Eric Raymond. We've got a couple of Raymonds in the ball game now. One's a terrible, one's a Prescott. Raymond gives it to Duty. Duty down the left side of the lane, puts one up and in. 29, 25, terrible by four. Up the left side it comes now to Saucier. Saucier with the ball trying to get into the paint. Can't get it back out to Martin. Martin cocks the gun. He's working against Pelkey. He goes left. Betty inside now. Corey Thibodeau with the ball. Corey working against the gang. Drives, puts it up, and he's fouled. He drew the foul. I think the foul is uh, going to be against St. Peter. Yep, and it is, and that's uh, the first foul on Jason. And uh, that's going to put uh, Corey Thibodeau on the line for a couple. Check that. That's the second foul on St. Peter. 4.47 remaining in the first half of play. Terrible up by four. 29-25. Corey Thibodeau with a shot. No good. Falls off the right side. Neither team has been what you'd call spectacular from the foul line here tonight. Corey Thibodeau on the line. Gets set. Fires. No good. Rims the basket. Rebound. Uh, brought in by uh, St. Peter. Long right-hander by duty. Good three-pointer. Makes it 32-25. 18 points uh, to a quarter and a half for Brett Duty so far. He's some kind of ball player, I'll tell you. And uh, Charty having trouble getting it up court of the foul going to be called against Susie. No shot foul. It'll be Fort Kemp with the ball out along the near sideline. Corey Thibodeau taking the ball out. In the backcourt, it comes now to Tardy. Tardy. That's Lucas Levesque right there. That's Levesque, right. I'm sorry. Levesque working against Susie. There's a shot up. No good. A rebound is ripped out of there by Pelkey. Up now to Duty. Duty pulls up and fires. No good. Out to the right. Taken away by, is that St. Peter? Yeah. Ball is deflected out over the end line. It'll be stay with Garrable. As it was uh, deflected by Fort Kent. Susie taking the ball out now. They stack it up both sides of the lane. Out of the offensive line when it comes to Duty. Duty drives the paint, puts it up. It's good. Duty with 20 points in the ballgame. And with 4.02 remaining in a half, he's been short of spectacular. Terrible up by nine now. Levesque with the ball. Fed down low to Corey Thibodeau. Thibodeau working against uh, St. Peter. Long right-hander by Levesque is good. 
Lucas Lovett's been a nice spark plug off the bench throughout the season for four ten. He didn't play against Caribou Tuesday, but he's really uh, had some big games. He came in against Prescott and got a couple of three pointers. That's later. right. Along the baseline, there's a shot up by Susie's good, and it makes it 36-28. Caribou with the lead, 3:24 remaining in the first half. Right, uh, Corey Thibodeau with the ball gets into the paint, head fakes, puts it up, no good, high off the glass, rebound. Comes down to Raymond up the left side now to uh, Susie, but he is uh, mugged down there by Brad Saucier. Yeah, Saucier, Brad Saucier. Tried to draw the charge there, but in no way did he get there on time. And uh, Ryan Susie fouled. It's not going to be foul shots. They're going to get the ball underneath the basket. A couple more subs in. Caribou's going to stack it up both sides of the line. Coming out of the ball game now, number 25 for uh, Caribou. That's Raymond. Out of deep it comes to duty. Man, oh, in and out. Rebound. Up it's good by Adam Selke. Said, look what I found. He just went up and laid it in. Corey Dippin' over the ball. I thought he double dribbled. Didn't do it. Gets it out now to Martin. Martin. Out there working against Pelkey. Martin on the right side to Corey. Gonna give a go to Martin. He puts it up and in off the glass. Makes it 38-30. The lead is eight. Terrible with it. Duty with the ball. Head fake. Tries to get into the right elbow. Feeds back now to Susie. Susie drives. Puts it up. It's good. 40-30. Terrible up by 10 again. Levesque bringing the ball back now for the uh, Warriors. Working against Susie. Bounce pass left now to, uh, to uh, Saucier. And he travels for the ball. Caribou is going to get it back on the turnover. Only the second turnover for Forkent, so they've taken care of the ball. Just that Caribou has just been phenomenal in their shooting. Uh, we talked about them being 11 for 14 in the first quarter. They are 8 for 11 so far in this quarter. So a combined 19 for 25. That's 76% shooting for the Vikings. Tardy's back into the ball game now for Forkent. So isn't uh, Matt Thibodeau. All right, uh, Susie with the ball now for Caribou. He's got it out deep. Right it goes now to uh, Pelkey. On a weave. Over to Pelkey. He's out deep. Minute 59, under two minutes to play here in the first half. That's Susie with the ball. He's uh, working against uh, Cardi, and yeah. Cardi nails him. Down here in the near corner. And uh, here we're still not in the bonus, so we're taking it out on the side. Sure, Tardy and Levesque aren't uh, twins. Boy, do they look alike, <laughs> huh? Into the quarter comes now to Pelkey. Pelkey fires. Good! Makes it 42-30. Terrible's up by... That was a three-pointer. And everybody's getting into the act for Terrible. Up, up by 13. It's uh, Matt Thibodeau traveling with the ball down here along the baseline. So quickly, Fort Kent turns it back to Caribou. Susie taking the ball off. Up it comes now to Duty. Duty bringing the ball up. Brett Duty. He's a good one. He can handle the ball. He's a big kid. And he is quick. Susie with the ball. Holds the ball. Gets it over now to Pelkey. Pelkey. Down to the corner of it goes. That's Pelkey with the uh, ball now. Raymond had it before. Pelkey with the ball. Bounce pass out to Susie. Susie uh, working against Tardy on a give and go. Pass. Meant for uh, St. Peter. He runs it down. The shot is up and in by Susie. Got it down low along to the right of the lane. He put it up and in. And Ryan Martin is talking to uh, Mr. Uh, Kluke out there. Wanting to know why the whistle doesn't blow when they're nailed. 15-point lead now for Caribou. 48 seconds left in the second quarter. Matt Gibbett loses a handle on it. Picked up by Duty. Duty taking it back now for the Vikes. Out to the right. Right side of the lane. We'll get the runner up off the glass. Whistle on a play and a foul going to be called against Fort Ken. I think the foul is going to be on Corey Gibbett, who looks very frustrated here at this juncture. Well, it's not that Fort Ken's playing that poorly. It's just, once again, the phenomenal shooting... Uh, being displayed by Caribou. Just, just unbelievable. unbelievable. yeah. It really is. Uh, just, just about everything's going down for them, and they're getting good shots. Shooting about 78%, I think. Yeah, and I think they've even increased, increased that <laughs> since I last mentioned it. Duty on the line. He's there for two. He'll dip and fire. It is good. We'll have another. 
How many has he got? 23, 24? No, that's uh, 21. Uh, that's, yeah, that's 21 for him now. 21? Duty on the line. Brett Duty, he's a good one. He scored at least 30 points in each of the last five games. He's averaging 28 points on the season. Second shot is good. And now uh, he's going out of the ball game. Griffith is going to come in. Boy, they give up some size. Probably a good move, though. Brett Duty with two. Uh, well, actually, there's one foul, but they'd like to see him uh, go into the second half just with one foul and four fouls to give. Terrible's up by 17 with 30 seconds remaining in the ball game in the uh, first half. And uh, Fort Kent turns it over again, and that's been their uh, disaster right there, turning the ball over. In this quarter especially. They took care of it pretty good in the first quarter, but a lot a lot right here in these uh, second eight minutes of play. Griffith on to Susie, back to Griffith. Griffith out deep. They're going to play for the last shot. They're clearing out the middle. On a give and go. That's Susie all alone up, and he is nailed by Matt Thibodeau. As Susie will go to the line with 13 seconds remaining in the first half. Terrible can do no wrong here in the first half. Susie. Ryan Susie, he's a, a guard. He's a sophomore. Going to hear a lot about him in the years to come. Well, he played as a freshman, got some good experience. Yeah. This year, he's really seemed to take in things upon himself, and he's become a leader on the court. Uh, with the absence of Matt Griffith injured uh, earlier in the season, he's really stepped it up and has played well for Caribou. Nobody can nail him from the foul line here tonight. Susie uh, misses the front end. He'll have another. 13 seconds remaining in a half. Caribou up by 17, 47-30. Shot is good by Susie. The top of Warner makes it 48-30. to 30. Martin bringing the ball back down the left side. It goes to Neto. Neto puts it up from the far corner. No good. Rebound hauled in by Matt Thibodeau. Thibodeau up off the glass. No good. Rebound batted out deep where it's run down by nobody, and it comes out over the near sideline. And that's the buzzer ending the first half of play. At the end of the half, the score, terrible 48, Fort Kent 30, back right after this. When you buy a pre-owned vehicle, you just don't know what you're getting. Unless you buy from Walker & Walker in Caribou. Trained mechanics perform a 27-point inspection on every car. And now, for a limited time, Walker & Walker is offering a 12-month, 12 12,000-mile 12 warranty on the engine, transmission, and more. Plus, you automatically receive the Road America Motor Club's emergency roadside assistance at no extra charge. At last, you can buy a quality, pre-owned vehicle and also get peace of mind to go with it at Walker & Walker in Caribou. Every now and then, everyone encounters a money problem. You'll find out what financial stock really means when you talk to a Katahdin Trust banker. Katahdin Trust Company. Successful because of you. We feel a deep-down responsibility to our communities. So if you'll tell us how we can better serve you and your business, we think we'll all benefit. Katahdin Trust Company. Successful because of you. Skidoo for 1996. Awesome. See the all-new Skidoo at the sled shop in Presque Isle. Save hundreds of dollars on a 96 sled and get the best in parts and service at the sled shop. Plus, right now, get 20% off selected Skidoo clothing and accessories in stock. Just in time for Christmas. Now open Saturdays from 9 to 1. They're Northern Maine's largest Skidoo dealer. The sled shop in Presque Isle. No matter how mild the winter sky may appear, you know what those clouds will hold. So get ready with a powerful Aaron's two-stage snow thrower. They're the hardest working, most durable snow throwers you can buy. Available with six forward speeds, two reverse, and an exclusive five-year warranty. So get ready, because it's coming. Aaron's snow throwers are available at MTG Hardware in Presque Isle. Back at the Caribou High School Gymnasium, the Caribou High School cheerleaders performing here at halftime. And they got a mount coming here. They're going to throw somebody up. <laughs> and it did not go well for them. But boy, this is one heck of a good cheerleading squad. They done good, as they say. Halftime, a Caribou leading by 18, 48 to 30. That doesn't tell the whole story. Caribou has shot 78%, according to uh, Kevin's figures, here in the uh, first half, compared to, what, 47 for 
Um, I have it for 46. That's unofficial, yeah, but unofficial, yeah. But it's uh, just uh, again a phenomenal effort by Caribou. Just uh, everything going in, but they're they're getting good looks at the basket too. Just uh, seemingly being able to solve the Fort Ken defense and uh, making some nice passes, finding the open man, and uh, like we mentioned earlier, just doing little wrong tonight. Duty with uh, what? 23, 22 points. 20, for, 22 for points duty. at halftime. He has been the whole the whole ball club has been phenomenal. There's 78 percent shooting. I'll tell you, that's got that's really putting it up there. Terrible cheerleaders at halftime here at the Terrible High School Gymnasium. 48-30. Terrible by 18 over the Fort Kent Warriors here on a cold, cold night in Aroostook County. Let's take a look at the halftime stuff. Here's Kevin. Okay, the scoring for Fort Kent is uh, Chad Tardy and Jason Neto. They have two points apiece. Lucas Levesque with three points. Matt Thibodeau and Corey Thibodeau, six points each. Ryan Martin's the high scorer for Fort Kent with 11 points. For Caribou, Scott Raymond with two points. Lance Belanger with four. Jason St. Peter with six points. Adam Telsky and Ryan Susie doing a real nice job offensively in the first half. They have seven points each. And as we mentioned, the high score so far for Caribou, Brett Duty, 22 points. And uh, again, the score 48-30, Caribou with the lead. Good crowd in here tonight. Uh, crowds have dwindled out a little bit as uh, halftime crowds do what halftime crowds do. The uh, kids have been in here. They've been vociferous. The terrible high school band about to strike up now under the direction of Vaughn McLaughlin. And uh, you can count it a lot of drums in this deal. Holy cow, listen to them. The terrible high school band. Let's pick up a little bit of this here. Entertainment with the Caribou High School Band. Ron McLaughlin, the director, the Caribou cheerleaders down there doing a little dance. And Caribou is quickly back out of the court for the pre second half warm up shots. We'll be back with more halftime right after these messages. Perry Medical Center's walk in clinic is a primary care facility providing quality health care to people of all ages. If you need a doctor, Carrie's physician assistant can help. At Carrie's walk-in clinic, no appointment is ever needed. What's more, cost per visit average is less than one-half the cost of an emergency room visit. Next time, why not visit Carrie Medical Center's walk-in clinic? When I go grocery shopping, quality products are very important. Price, very important. And a great shopping says they have these. They also have these. Associates with smiles on their faces who are courteous and helpful. It's like they like working here. It makes me like shopping here. Customer service and satisfaction have always been a hallmark at Grave Shopping Save, and it's these guys that make it happen. They're the reason I shop here. They're the reason you should shop here, too. I transferred from NM to Hudson College. I transferred from Northern Maine Technical College to Thomas College. I transferred to the University of Maine at Prescott. The University of Maine at Ohio. The University of Maine. And I transferred on to Heffel College in Manchester, New Hampshire. Employers aren't the only ones who recognize a good thing. Let me show you how these and many other NMTC graduates have saved thousands of dollars on their bachelor's degree. Northern Maine Technical College. For more than just the theory. The Aroostook Medical Center, providing you and your family with the best diagnostic equipment available. A CTU is a special x-ray machine that takes three-dimensional pictures and takes uh, slices of the body, all the vessels, and organs inside. Using a new spiral CT scanner benefits the patient with less radiation in time, no traveling south for service, and reduces the need for callback. Investing in new technology today keeps your tomorrow healthy. The Aroostook Medical Center is your partner in health. 
back at the Caribou High School Gymnasium as you take a look at all the pennants and awards that Caribou has received over the years. Sportsmanship awards, uh, Eastern Maine Championship, State Championship. Uh, just one of the great athletic organizations around anywhere. Uh, and so aptly run by Dwight Hunter, the athletic administrator here at Caribou High School. We talked to him on the uh, head end of the uh, program. Now Fort Kent is back out on the court for their pre-second half warm-up shot. Kevin's got the uh, basketball schedule around the county and state. Sorry, we'll talk about most of the county games. Just interesting side, there just seems to be some really crucial games um, around the county team jockeying for position. Uh, on the boys' side, Holton is at Prescott. It's a big game for both teams. Both are definitely in the uh, stick of the tournament, tournament hunt. Mars Hill is playing Wisdom. Aslan's at Matawaska, another big game. As both those teams uh, doing real well this season and uh, definitely the chance to make the trip to Bangor. And Katahdin's at Skank. For the girls, Van Buren's at Limestone. Central Rustic at Fort Fairfield. Aslan's at Easton. Those are the uh, games involving teams from the county and like I mentioned, is uh, we're getting down to the last three weeks, the uh, regular season, and uh, we are very far away from that B, C, and D tournament. It's around the February the 16th, we'll be underway with that one. The second half about to get underway. Taking a look now at uh, Matt Griffith. Uh, you see there, he was the fellow injured. Uh, yeah. End of December, snowmobile accident. Nice to see him back, walking around. And uh, sure, sure he wishes he could be out there. He had a brother that was a good one, I'll tell you. Hey, his dad could put him up. Dad played for Fort Fairfield. Second, uh, the uh, second half is going to be terrible with the uh, out of bounds. And the ball is batted high by Fort Kent. Goes out over the uh, end line, down to the corner. It'll be terrible retaining possession. Pretty much back with their uh, same starting lineup that they uh, started with. And all four tank can do is just hope that the caribou can cool down. I'm sure they can get back in it, but uh, they're going to hope that maybe they lost some momentum there and that uh, during the intermission. All right, here we go. That's Raymond with the ball. Gets it over to Susie. Susie working against uh, Cardi. There's a shot up. It's no good off the left side of the iron. Rebound comes out now to Martin of Fort Kent. Martin up the left side. Down low it comes to Neto. Neto trying to get into the paint. Pulls up. Had... Uh, well, he had Raymond off his feet, but uh, he couldn't fire over. That's Martin with the ball. Ryan Martin, he's working against Pelkey. Martin goes right now to Corey Thibodeau. Thibodeau with the ball. Thibodeau working against Susie. Nope, working against Duty. Top of the key now it comes to Matt Thibodeau. On the near side. Long right hand by Neto was good. Ryan Martin. That's Ryan Martin, I'm sorry. And it makes it 48-33 as Martin puts up a three-pointer. A minute gone here in the uh, third period. Quickly into forecourt, that Susie with the ball. Uh, his finger rolls it over to Duty. Duty can't handle the pass. It goes out over the end line. It'll be terrible with the ball. Last touch by Fort Kent. Susie taking the ball out. They're going to stack it up both sides of the lane. Out of the offensive alignment, out of the quarterback goes to uh, Selke. And it's given to Duty, but Duty can't handle it. It goes out of bounds. Still, it was Fort Kent who tapped it out. So Carroll's going to get the lucky break on that one. And again, it'll be Susie taking the ball out. Down to the corner, but comes now to Raymond. Set inside to duty. He wheels, deals. It's good. 50-33. Terrible uh, with the lead. Martin bringing it back. And they got Telke out on him. Half court, man to man. Gets it over to Neto. Neto is working against Raymond. Top of the key. It comes now to uh, Thibodeau. Corey puts it up and in. Top of the key. That makes it 50-35. 15-point spread now for uh, the Vikes on a weave handoff. It goes to Susie. Susie goes left now to Raymond. Raymond, top of the key to Pelkey, down to the corner, but comes. Ball is tapped out over the end line. 43 is St. Peter. He and Pelkey look a lot alike. All right, out it comes now to uh, Pelkey. Talkie with the ball down to the corner. It's going to bring it back out and recock the gun. The ball is almost stolen away. It is stolen away. 
by Tardy, and the ball is tied up. The offense is out of bounds. Will belong to Fort Kent. I don't think I've seen a player in the county with the quick hands that Chad Tardy has. I've had the opportunity to see him play several times this year. Picks up a lot of steals, just very quick with very his feet quick. in his hands. Martin with the ball on the near side. It comes to Tardy. Tardy working against Susan. Top of the key. It comes now to uh, Corey Thibodeau. He puts it up and in. Two in a row from there for him. And it makes it 50 37. Fort Kent is capable of coming back here now. And that terrible watch timeout. It was timeout on the court. 542 remaining in the third period. The score, terrible 50. Fort Kent 37. Be right back. Fort Citizens Bank was founded by a few local people. People who really know and understand Arista County. We work here at this table to develop financial services for you. With hard work and your support, we've grown from one office to four, and we're getting ready to open our fifth office on North Street in Holton. First Citizens Bank is a local bank owned and managed by local people who have your needs in mind. What goes on around this table is important to you and Arista County. First Citizens Bank, your local banking partner. Back here at the Caribou High Gym. Caribou called timeout. Fort Kent coming out hot. Fort Kent came out hot. They've uh, hit their first three field goal attempts here in the uh, third quarter. And uh, as you mentioned, very capable of making a run to get right back in this game. Oh, they get the horses. They can do it. Caribou with the ball out. Out along the left sideline to Duty. Duty gets around Neto. Has trouble controlling as Neto comes right back to him. Over to Susie on the near side. It comes to Raymond with a long right-hander. No good. Bounces high. There's a whistle on the play. It went up and hit the top of the backboard. So Fort Kent will get it back. It'll be uh, Corey Thibodeau taking the ball out, working against all court pressure here. And it comes now to uh, Cardi. To Martin. Martin bringing the ball back now for the Warriors as Carroll gets back on defense. Right now goes to Cardi. Cardi can fire. He would, if he ever gets heated up, Corey Thibodeau is stolen away by Raymond. He's all alone, lays it up, it's good. And that makes it 52-37. Terrible with a big lead here now. Corey Thibodeau with the ball in four court. Looking for help from Martin. Martin guarded very closely down there by Pelkey. Martin with the ball. Pelkey out on him. Fakes one way, gets into the lane with a runner. Good! Nice shot in the paint. And it makes it 52-39. Uh, Terrible with the lead, 444 remaining in the third period of play. Oh, duty all along. But you had Susie scoot and skid in the line of floor, finally get the ball over to Duty. Duty put it up and in, 54-39. So a nice job of hustle there by Scott Raymond to uh, come up with his uh, Aaron dribble. Matt Thibodeau on a pass from uh, Hardy. Gets it back out on top now to uh, Martin. Martin goes right to Corey Thibodeau. Thibodeau working against Number 43 who's into the ball game. That's, uh, boy, these guys are tough. St. Peter, basket is good. Matt Thibodeau with a great move there. And he's re looked really good for Fort Kent in this game. Susie bring it around. Raymond bringing the ball back now for the Vikes. Stolen away by Matt Thibodeau. Thibodeau can move. He drives. Underhand put up and in. Nice finger roll. Makes it 54-43. Fort Kent trying to get back into this one. Up to the side, now to Duty. Duty in four court. He can fire out there. Gets it over to Susie. Almost stolen away by uh, Tardy. Now the ball rolls free along the court. They hustle for it. It was out of bounds. It'll be terrible with the ball. Larry Murphy happy with that hustle play by Jason Neto. Fort Kent continuing to play with intensity. That Tardy is fired up, and they got Levesque in there. Now you got Tardy and Levesque. And they look alike, 24 and 44, wouldn't you know? And their two spark plugs before Ken have been uh, all season. Well, all right, number 21 checks into the ball game. That's Belanger. As Raymond goes out and Belanger is in for Carable. Carable with the ball out. Looking for help. Down it comes down to Belanger. Belanger, fed inside to duty. He wheels, he deals, underhands went up, but a whistle on a foul going to be called against Fort Kent. And the foul is going to be on Matt Thibodeau. Matt Thibodeau uh, prone to getting in foul trouble, but I believe that's just his first foul of the game. Matt tried to cut him off at the pass, got caught leaning. No shot foul. It'll be terrible with the ball out there, stacking it up both sides of the lane. Susie taking the ball out. All right, out of the offensive line, but it comes right inside to, who was it? St. Peter. St. Peter put it out, but no go. 
Ryan Martin bringing it back. Bounce pass over to uh, Tardy in the paint with a runner. No good off the back side of the iron. Rebound up by Tardy. No good. He's everywhere, ain't he? Duty bringing it back. Pulls up at the top of the key. Bounce pass over to Pelkey. Up no good. And rebound comes down to Matt Thibodeau. Thibodeau gives it to Martin. Martin bringing it back. 3-0-3 remaining in the third period of play. Caribou with the lead, 54-43 over the Fort Kent Warriors. Top of the key, uh, Corey Thibodeau over to Matt Ryan. Ryan, uh, Ryan Martin, rather. Ryan fires at the three-pointer, and that makes it 54-46. And Fort Kent is getting back into it. They're down by eight now. Thibodeau, I'm uh, sorry, duty, up and in, three-pointer, 57-46. And back on top by 11. Quick as that. Ryan Martin bringing the ball back. Right side, it goes now to uh, Levesque. Levesque drops it off now to Tardy. Now it comes to Martin. Martin working against Pelkey. Calls out a play number. They're going to take, uh, he fires top of the key. Good! Three-pointer. Holy cow! 57-49. Terrible with the lead. Down to the Belanger, down to the quarter, comes the ball batted away by Pontelki. Here's Tardy all alone as it strips. And a foul going to be called on Susie on a nice defensive move. Almost came away with a steal there. And Caribou wants time. A timeout on the court, a minute 55, remaining in the third period to play. The score, Caribou 57, Fort Kent 49, will be right back. Hi, I'm Bill Smythe, owner of Smythe IJ Plus. For the best in prices and services, come shop with us. Smythe IGA Plus is your one-stop shopping center. You can pay your utility bills, electric and telephone, buy lottery tickets, postage stamps, and cash-in returnables, rent movies from the wide selection of videotapes, and now you can even pay for your groceries with your credit card. Smythe IGA, where service and selection make a difference. We got a minute 55, under two minutes remaining in the third period of play with uh, Caribou's lead, eight points, 57-49 over the Fort Kent Warriors who were down by as much as 18 at one time and they got back into this thing. And they've got back into it with great shooting on their own. Uh, I have them for eight for 10 from the field. They uh, hit their first six off of the quarter. Now eight for 10 as uh, Ryan Martin hit two for two uh, on three pointers in the uh, last couple Fort Kent possessions and has three uh, three-pointers in this half. Raymond back into the ball game for the bikes. It'll be uh, Tardy on the line for uh, for Kent. He's out of Eagle Lake, actually. Tardy on the line. Fires. It is good. He'll have another. And it makes it 57-50. And he can get for Kent within six points with under two minutes to play in the third period. They've come back a long way. Tardy on the line, deep breath, dips and fires, it is good, 57-51, it's Fort Kent, the Caribou rather by six, as uh, Saucier comes into the ball game now for Fort Kent. That's, uh, yeah, and Jason Netto also in the game for Fort Kent. All right, Susie with the ball, bounce pass, over to Griffith, Griffith in the fourth court, working against Netto, who's back into the ball game for the Warriors. Griffith with the ball, out deep along the left side in front of the Caribou bench. All right, Belanger with the ball. Gets it now over to uh, Susie. That's Belanger over to Susie. Susie looking for the cut. There it is. That's Griffith, but he didn't go anywhere with it. He was cut off at the pass. Susie with the ball over to Griffith along the near side. He's working against Neto. Straight man-to-man -man is a shot, but a three-second violation called against Caribou as Duty was hanging out in the lane too long. He can't do that. Got to get in and get out. Three seconds. All right, Martin gets it over to Corey Thibodeau. Thibodeau working against Susie. Back over to Martin. Martin, long up court pass to Neto. Neto's open fires. No good off the side of the iron. Whistle, Neto. Gets it back out to Martin. Martin fires. Bang! Woo! 57, 54, and Fort Kent is within three. Duty bringing it back. He pulls up, trying to draw the foul. He's got Neto on his back there. Gets it down low to Raymond. Raymond loses a handle on it, and it's taken away, but a whistle on a play and a traveling violation is going to be called 
against Saucier. Had the ball, fell backward, took step. Caribou's going to get it back. Fort Kent didn't like that call. Griffith taking the ball off. They stack it up both sides of the lane. Out in the corner comes to Duty. Duty fires over a screen. No good. Rebound is up by Susie. Good. Scott Raymond with the rebound there. Raymond, that is. Raymond. Sorry about that. 59-54. We got 33 seconds remaining in the third period. Corey Tribodeau gets it into four court. Still to the way. Susie all alone puts it up. It's good. Susie's had a field day tonight. That's a big play for Caribou, too. 61-54, 20 seconds remaining in the third period. Martin gets it back to Corey Thibodeau. Up to Levesque. Levesque over to Martin. Martin drives around people, gets a runner up. It's in and out, off the right side. Rebound up by Levesque. A soft year is no good. There's a whistle on the foul against Caribou. I think the foul is on Raymond. That may be his third. Well, I think that's just one on Raymond. Is it? Uh, I thought he had 40. a couple, but evidently no. I'm Point of the board. And corrected. All right, it's going to be uh, Saucier on the line. He's there for two. Nine seconds remaining in the third period. Saucier bounced, bangs it on the pine a couple of times. It gets, gets set. Skip. Fires. It is good. That's 61-55. It's a six-point spread. Terrible with the lead. He can... Saucier can get Fort Kent within five. Whoops, somebody over the line, and I think it was Levesque. No. Did it go in? I, I took yeah, my hell of it. Yeah, it went in, but there's no basket. I won't count it. All right, terrible with the ball. Duty in a crowd. Quickly up the middle, Matt. Spelanger. The ball is uh, stolen away by Martin. Long up court pass at the buzzer, ending the third period of play. At the end of three, the score... Terrible 61, Fort Kent 55, we'll be right back. Hi, I'm Bill Smythe, owner of Smythe IJ Plus. For the best in prices and services, come shop with us. Hi, I'm Gene Frazier, meat manager here at Smythe IJ. We have the highest quality selection of meat and seafood to satisfy even the fussiest of lower maids. Shop our expensive display, and if you can't find what you want, we'd be more than pleased to custom cut your order to any specification. For the largest variety of bakery deli products in the city, come see us. Smythe IGA, where service and selection make a difference. To us, financial straight talk means making timely decisions and giving solid advice and doing it consistently. Those are the reasons to think we deserve your business. Katahdin Trust Company, successful because of you. Faith in our customers, in northern Maine, in ourselves. Without it, we wouldn't be where we are today. We can't put a dollar value on it, but it's a big part of our success. Katahdin Trust Company, successful because of you. Alternate out of bounds as Caribou shot is good by Susie. Check that. Yeah, that yeah Susie. Susie. Whenever Caribou's needed a big three-pointer this season, Ryan Susie's come up with it more often than not. Been a well, nice clutch shooter for Caribou. They're up by nine now. Martin up the right side now. Caribou with the lead, 64-55. Shot up, no good. Rebound, batted, battle for. Comes down to Neto, but he's traveling with the ball. It'll be Caribou getting it back. All right, Susie taking the ball out. And it comes now to Duty. Duty looks uh, the field over. He's going against Matt Thibodeau up the middle. Off left now goes to Pelkey. Back out to Susie. Susie. Head fakes, gets into the lane, finger rolls, went up and in. He has been phenomenal. 66-55, and Caribou's up by 11 again. Ryan Martin with the ball. They're going to try to trap him. Corey Thibodeau, Levesque, up the left sideline, now comes to Neto. He fires. Bang! That's a three-pointer, and that makes it 66-58. A minute gone here in the fourth and final period. Susie bringing the ball up now against Levesque over the timeline. Down to the quarter, but goes to... Uh, Pelkey, give and go, up it, good, by Raymond. Raymond. Waved it off, the offensive foul on Scott Raymond. And they're going to call a foul against him. No basket? No. Nope. No basket. No basket on player control fouls, and a uh, nice job uh, by the 410 defender yeah. stepping in and, uh, and drawing it. Lezek is out of there, and in comes uh, Tardy for 410. 
Martin with the ball. Ryan bringing it over the timeline. He's got Corey Thibodeau out there with him, but Corey's the off guard. Right, it goes now to uh, Tardy. Tardy had an ocean, didn't go. Corey Thibodeau with the ball, being bothered by duty. Top of the key to Matt Thibodeau. Thibodeau on the near side to Ryan Martin. He drives baseline, banks it up and in. Nice move. 66-60, Caribou's lead six now. Couple of minutes gone in the fourth period. Duty drives, underhand put up off the glass. It's good. Boy, he's got an awful wingspan, that duty kid. Shot is up by Neto and good as uh, duty mugged him, but no whistle. 68-62. Shot is up and in by duty. Off the glass. 70-62. Caribou by eight. Fort Kent gets close, and then Caribou just squirts away from him. Six minutes remaining in the ball game. Caribou with the lead on the near side. Fort Kent with the ball. Neto. Corey Thibodeau. Thibodeau down to the left elbow. Matt Thibodeau. Right it goes now to Martin. Martin backs it out of there. Tries to go along the baseline. He's quick. Feeds back now to Levesque. Le a tardy. Tardy puts it up. It's a hanger. Good. Finally fell through. And it makes it 70-64 all alone. Another Toronto dunk. Set duty. Duty. Tim's one. And that makes it 72-64. That brings the crowd to their feet. Ryan Martin with the ball. Working against Raymond. About to pass right to Neto. Neto fires. It is no good. Rebound. Fort Kent, but a whistle out of play and a foul going to be called on Susie, I think. Foul is going to be on Susie. Fred Duty firing this crowd up. When he gets on the break, he likes to put it down. And, uh, Tardy will go to the line. No, nope, no shot foul. What were you going to say? I'll oh, just say okay, a good way to get a crowd, in, crowd into the game, definitely. Oh, yeah, out in the corner now, Neto with the ball. He's working against Falke. Neto feeds inside. That's Cardi with the ball. Can't handle the pass. It's out over the end line. It'll be terrible getting it back. 5-10 remaining in the ball game. 72-64. Terrible with the lead. That's duty for the ball. Hands it to Susie. Susie's going to bring him up slowly. Cardi's going to pick him up midcourt. Left now to duty. Duty working against Matt. Matt. Duty drops it off now to Pelkey. Pelkey puts it up. Good! So Jason St. Peter with the basket yep, there. St. Peter. St. Peter and Pelkey, they got to get, uh, they got to do something with their hair. They, they look alike to me. Court can't watch time. With time out of the court, 446 remaining in the ballgame. The score, terrible 74. Court can't 64. We'll be right back. When you buy a pre-owned vehicle, you just don't know what you're getting. Unless you buy from Walker & Walker in Caribou. Trained mechanics perform a 27-point inspection on every car. And now, for a limited time, Walker & Walker is offering a 12-month, 12,000-mile warranty on the engine, transmission, and more. Plus, you automatically receive the Road America Motor Club's emergency roadside assistance at no extra charge. At last, you can buy a quality pre-owned vehicle and also get peace of mind to go with it at Walker & Walker in Caribou. Phenomenal shooting on the part of the Caribou Bikes. They're six for six this quarter. And they were shooting 78% the first half. 446 remaining in the ballgame. Caribou up by 10 over the Warriors from Fort Kent, 74-64. Caribou continue their hot shooting now. Total of up in their, uh, for the game now, still 75%. 33 for 44 from the field. Unofficial, but I think that's pretty close. All right. Ryan Martin with the ball for Fort Kent. Terrible. Into a 2-3 here right now. 2-1-2, two, two, I guess. They're going to play a little zone. They're going to make Fort Kent shoot over it. Out of the corner, but comes down to Neto. Neto brings it out of there. Inside now to Corey Thibodeau. He drives the paint, lays it up. No good. Rebound battle for Whistle on a play and a foul inside. Matt Thibodeau over the back on the rebound. So they're going to watch the lights of the court. Nope. No shot foul. It's going to be Susie taking the ball out. Nope, we haven't had enough yet. All right, Susie taking the ball out. It comes to Raymond, drops it off to Susie. Raymond will uh, go up court, play the off guard. Susie bringing it up now against Tardy. Bounce pass left to Duty. Duty working against Corey Thibodeau, and Thibodeau takes it away from him, but a whistle on a play, and what? Duty fouled uh, Thibodeau after uh, the ball gets stolen away from him. Try to seal it back and get a piece of Corey Thibodeau's arm. One of those reach-ins, you, you, you just hate to see that. Coach does anyway, but it's a natural reaction. That's right. You lose the ball, you want it back. That's right. Down to the quarterback goes to Neto. He fires. Bang! 
Another three-pointer makes it 74-67. Caribou with the lead, 4-0-4 remaining in the ball game. Raymond with the ball. Gets it back out deep to Susie, right back to Raymond. Raymond brings it back out on a weave. Now it goes to Duty. Duty working against Corey Thibodeau. Duty head fakes one way, drives the other, whistle on a play, and a blocking foul going to be called against Corey Thibodeau, and Duty will go to the line. And now we're getting down to the nitty-gritty. They'll try to draw those fouls and get away and still no bonus for caribou uh, very few fouls uh, neither team in the bonus uh, just four less than four minutes left in the game very clean uh, clean game in that respect Susie gets it out now to adam Telkey. Telkey's in the crowd as they try to trap him he gets the ball over to Susie. Susie in the paint drives underhands one up no good the way susie has been going in this ball game that could have gone you know <laughs> Well, we, we've been talking a lot about Brett Duty and deserving the slow, but uh, Ryan Susi has really stepped up his game today. Boy, he stepped forward, didn't he? Taking a lot of the offense uh, upon himself and really doing a nice job. And uh, you got to remember, he's just a sophomore. Three they more full years left for him. They mugged him inside. He's going to the line for two. Fouled in the process. Fires off the right ear. No good off the back side of the iron. Has had no success in the foul line tonight. It's, it's, uh, it's the highest percentage they've shot from the floor. And the lowest percentage from the uh, foul line. Well, Phenomena never sees. Second shot is no good either. Rebound, Cardi. Cardi drops it off to Martin. Martin taking it back for the Warriors. Over the timeline, he works it out to the right. They're going to overload to the right. Down to the corner goes to Cardi. Fed inside to Matt Thibodeau. Thibodeau goes to work. Inside, Corey Thibodeau up. No good. Whistle foul on Duty. Duty's going to be guilty of that foul. And Corey Thibodeau will go to the line. 327 remaining in the ball game. Incidentally, in that first, uh, that preliminary one, it was Fort Kent uh, winning the uh, uh, JV game 68-60 over Carroll. Corey Thibodeau on the line. Dip stand, fires, it is no good off the back side of the iron. I can't buy one, can I? Woo. Absolutely not. Foul shooting uh, has been poor for both teams. Very much unlike the, as you, unlike the field goal. Too. Missed the front porch, missed the back porch. Rebound, Tardy in the paint, has it jammed by Duty. Rebound comes out to Martin. Martin, before Kent has it stolen away by Raymond. Raymond drives, that finger rolls one up and in. Nice move by um, uh, Raymond. And I don't think Ryan Martin is used to that, having the ball stolen from him, but Star Raymond's a nice job defensively all yep. season for Caribou. And now they want time out of the time out of the court. 3.09 remaining in the ballgame. The score, Caribou 76, Fort Kent 67. Be right back. Welcome to your NTC Service Star Hardware on Parsons Street in Presque Isle. Your good neighbor Service Star store. People have been coming to NTC for the answers to all their home problems for over 60 years. That's because we have all the supplies you need for any job around the house. And we have the people to give you the advice on how to do the job right. And of course, we wouldn't have been around this long if we didn't give people the right price, too. So come on down to your good neighbor in Press Style, your MPG Service Star Hardware. Back at the Caribou High School Gymnasium, 309, remaining in the ballgame, 76-67. Caribou with the lead over the Warriors. Both teams back out on the court now. It'll be Fort Kent with the ball out. Martin, uh, rather Corey Thibodeau taking it out. He'll go to Martin. Martin will bring it out. Martin working against Raymond. Bounce pass right to Neto. Neto takes it down along the baseline. Drives, puts it up and in. Nice move by uh, Neto. Ten points uh, in this quarter for Jason Neto. Really stepping it up offensively. 76-69. Terrible with the lead. That's Susie with the ball. Loses a handle on it, but it's picked up by Raymond. Back to Susie. Down to... Duty, Duty drives up off the glass, no good. Rebound, Duty, Duty underhands went up, no good. Rebound is up by St. Peter. St. Peter is no good, and he's fouled. He'll go to the line. St. Peter is uh, a junior. Good ball player. He's always in the thick of the action. Shot is good. We'll have another. That makes it 77 69. Shot is up. He bounces on and hits the top of the backboard, but no whistle. Rebound is uh, Matt Thibodeau. 
gives it to Martin. Martin bringing it out, and he says, clear out. Clear the middle out. I want to go one-on-one. -on -one. Down to the corner to Neto. not going to give him a chance, and he nails it from the corner. And it makes it 77-72. It's uh, Carroll by five, and this thing is uh, getting closer. Four Kent will not go away. Ducey bringing the ball up, working against uh, Tardy. Gets in the paint, gets it up, no good. Rebound taken away, but a whistle on the foul going to be called, I think, against Duty. Four fouls on Brett Duty. And Caribou is looking for a timeout, I think. Uh, is it? Yeah, Caribou wants time and the timeout of the court. 2 10 remaining in the ballgame. Score Caribou 77, Fort Kent 72. Be right back. Perry Medical Center's walk in clinic is a primary care facility providing quality health care to people of all ages. If you need a doctor, Terry's physician assistant can help. At Terry's walk-in clinic, no appointment is ever needed. What's more, cost per visit averages less than one-half the cost of an emergency room visit. Next time, why not visit Terry Medical Center's walk-in clinic? Back at the Caribou High School Gymnasium. Let's uh, set the stage. It's 2-10 remaining in the ballgame. Caribou's up by 5, 77-72. As Fort Kent has uh, relinquished big leads and then fought their way back into the thing again, and that's what they're doing now. And now they definitely have the momentum. Jason Neto uh, really pulling it on. 13 points in the fourth quarter uh, after scoring just two in the first three quarters. Brett Duty with four fouls. So they'll look to go right at him and try to get him out of the game. And... Uh, Again, one of those good, classic, terrible four ten finishes. Corey Thibodeau fires, no good. Rebound up, no good. Rebound up by Matt Thibodeau. Short rebound is up by Martin, and he is nailed. And Duty out of the game. And Duty is out of the ball game. And I can tell you right now that uh, Jeff Holmes is not happy about it. He wants to club him. They gonna call time? No, nope, they're just gonna just give a minute to substitute. Matt Hippo and uh, Duty kind of embraced down there. Matt Sandy he played a heck of a ball game. How many did he have? He had 35. 35 points. All right, more kids. These two teams very close, you know, they really are good friends uh, off the floor. They've been involved in so many tough battles, but uh, still able to keep their friendships, and that's what you saw there with the, uh, the congratulations by the four Kent players for a great game by Brett Duty. They, re they recognize that. All right, they got uh, Ryan Martin on the line. 77-72, Garibald with the lead. Shot is good. We'll have another. The four-point spread. He can get him within three with this one. 2.05 remaining in the ballgame. Martin gets set. Fires off the forehead. It's good. 77-74. Caribou's lead is three. That's Raymond taking the ball out, and it's kicked away by Tardy. It'll be Caribou getting the ball back. And somebody for Caribou with duty out of the game is really going to have to step up here and want to take control. All right. And it comes now to Pelkey, but a whistle on a play. And a foul going to be called, I think, against Fort Kent. And the foul is going to be on Corey Thibodeau, I think. And pushing Scott Raymond. And still no, no shot, no foul. bonus. Third foul on Corey Thibodeau. Matt Thibodeau has four for Fort Kent. All right, Susie taking the ball out. In it comes now to Belanger. Belanger in a crowd. They're trying to trap him. He calls timeout of a timeout on the court. The score with a minute, under two minutes to play. Minute 59 to be exact. The score, Caribou 77, Fort Kent 74. Close as your next breath. We'll be right back. Budget value from Gray Shop and Save. There's no need to travel to a warehouse store when you can take advantage of bulk size packages at big savings. Budget values allow you to save by purchasing in quantities. More items, bigger packages, bigger savings. And Gray Shop and Save has a huge selection. Budget values, another way to stretch your food dollar with Gray. Fort Kent back out on the court. Under two minutes to play in the ballgame. Minute 59. 
and Duty has fouled out of the ballgame. And also, I believe, uh, unofficial, but I believe that may have been the... Oh, we're back. I believe that may have been the fourth timeout, the fourth and final timeout used by Caribou. Shoving foul is going to be caught on Corey Thibodeau. Oh. No, on Neto, I think. Yep, Jason Neto, that's his third. And now uh, it's a bonus for both teams. So Scott Raymond's going to go to the line for some very, very crucial foul shots. No time has gone off the clock. Gentlemen, it's 59, 77, 74. It's Caribou by three with Scott Raymond on the line for the mic. Shot is up, it is no good. Rebound ripped out of there by Matt Thibodeau. Cleared up to Martin. Martin bringing the ball up now for the Warriors. He's picked up by, uh, let's see, who is that? That's uh, Scott Raymond. They're stolen away by Raymond. Raymond doing a real nice job defensively on Martin in this quarter. Ma uh, Raymond out to the left side of the lane, puts one up off the glass. Good, 79-74. It is uh, terrible by five with a minute 31 remaining. Martin with the ball. He goes right. He wants to go one-on-one. -on -one, puts it up. But a whistle on the play. And he draws the foul. And I think the foul is going to be on Pelkey, right? Pelkey or Raymond. Um, it is going to be Scott Raymond. Okay. But Martin will go to the line. Corey Kippito comes over to talk to him. And all the foul shots are really big now at this point in the game. Uh, Less than 90 seconds left in the game, and uh, probably could be a lot of foul shooting here in the final minute and a half. Minute 26. All right, shot is up by Martin. Good. He'll have another. 79 75, four point spread. He can get him within three again. Open it, go down, get the turnover, come back, and put the three up. Shot is up, it's good. 79 76. Caribou up by three with a minute 26 remaining in the ballgame. And it comes now to uh, Pelkey. Long up court pass goes astray, and a foul going to be called, I think, against Raymond. And Matt Thibodeau will go to the line for the uh, Warriors. And uh, Raymond gets up very gingerly. Left wrist seems to be bothering, but he's all right. He's going to stay in the game. I believe now two shots the rest of the way. Double bonus uh, now for Fort Kent. Chance to draw his team within one. 122 remaining in the game. The big guy, Matt Kibito on the line, puts it on the pine a couple of times to get set. These are all important. Shot is up. It's good. He'll have another. 79, 77. He can put Fort Kent within one point. A lot of pressure down there. Minute 22 remaining in the ballgame. A lot of time to go yet. Duty has fouled out of the ballgame. Shot is good. 79, 78. Terrible's lead is one. They have the ball out, and they're going to go against a lot of down court pressure. All right, in it comes to Raymond. Raymond up the left side with the lead pass. Uh, ball is saved in and into the hands of Belanger, and he gets quickly kicks it out to Susie, to Raymond, Raymond on a weave now, to Belanger, Belanger comes to the near side, down to the quarter, but goes long right, Ander is up, it is no good, shot was put up there by St. Peter, and Pelkey was called for the over the back foul on the rebounding action, so they're going to walk the length of the quarter, Fort Ken is going to go back to the line, they can tie it and go up by one here, phenomenal comeback by the Warriors, one minute remaining in a ball game. You can't say enough about the tenacity of this Fort Kent Warrior ball club. They have been down by as much as 18, worked their way back into the ball game. Been down by 12, worked their way back into the ball game. Been down by 10, worked their way back into the ball game. Now they got Corey Thibodeau. The only thing uh, Fort Kent hasn't got you going for them is they haven't been consistent from the foul line. Although it's been fouls, it's got them close. Corey Thibodeau on the line, fires, it is good! It's not at 79 apiece! And Thibodeau can put him up by one with one minute remaining in the ball game. Holy cow, don't go away! All right. Thibodeau on the line, Corey puts it up, it's good! 80-79, Fort Kent with a one-point lead! All right, in it comes.
comes now to Susie. Susie, they're going to try to trap us. I can't see over the kid. And now it is going to be who? Going to be Fort Kent? Yep, I, I got blocked off too. Some type of violation. And now they want timeout. Timeout on the court. 57 seconds remaining in the ball game. Fort Kent leads it by one. 80-79. Be right back. Education comes options. Explore your options with Northern Maine Technical College. All right, here we go. Kevin, 80, 79. Fort Kent's lead is one. They just got back into it, and they got there at the foul line. It'll be Fort Kent with the ball out. 57 seconds remaining in the ball game. And the ball is deflected out over the near sideline. Off in uh, Adam Tulkey. Corey Thibodeau will take it out again. Tell him, Mr. Kluke, you'd like to have three feet from this guy. All right, in the backcourt it comes. Ryan Martin with the ball, and he's in no hurry. Looks like they was going to try to trap. Up all along the right sideline to Neto. They try to trap him. They're going to come back out and try to get Martin. He's going to try to draw the foul. Over to Corey Thibodeau. Cross courts it over to Neto. Neto, head fake. Down to the corner of a goes Cardi. Cardi is fouled by Susie. And Cardi will go to the line. He's a good shot from there. So he's two for two in the game, and actually four tenths after a slow start. They are shooting well from yep, the back, foul line. Getting back into it. Hard to believe they've come as far down as they have to take the lead with just a few seconds remaining in the ball game. Cardi is on the line. Chad Cardi, he's out of Eagle Lake Senior. Goes to Fort Kent High School. He's a good one. All the pressure in the world on it. Puts it up. It is good. We'll have another. Fort get up by two, and he can put him up by three with 39 seconds remaining in the ball game. Cardi on the line. Chad puts it on the fine a couple of times and gets that. Spins that ball in his hair. And fires it. He's no good off the back side of the iron. Rebound is Matt Thibodeau, and he tries to take it out deep, and he is fouled. And he will go to the line. He's the one that got him up by one in the first place. Matt Thibodeau has done a nice job. Uh, he's four for five from the foul line. And uh, he didn't get boxed out in that foul shot. As a result, Fort Kent had a chance to put some more points on the board. Susie fouling out. Griffith getting ready to come into the ball game for uh, Terrible. He's coming in for Susie. Susie's going out, and what a job he's done. Can't say enough about that young man. He fouls out of the ball game, right? Yep. Yeah. 14 points he ended up with. He's a dandy. He did a great job. Yeoman work, I must say. Matt Thibodeau on the line for the Warriors. He's there for two. He was nailed in the process. Puts it on the pine a couple of times. Fort Kent is up by two. Three, sorry. Two. <laughs> now they're up by three. They'll have another. 36 seconds remaining in the ball game. Fort Kent is up by three, and Matt Thibodeau can put him up by four. And already a violation call in Caribou. If he misses the shot, he's going to get another one. Steve Griffith stepping over the three-point line. Shot is no good off the back side of the eye. Whistle on a play, and another foul going to be called, right? Well, that was a violation. Uh, Steve Griffith stepped over the foul line when the ball had already been administered. And as a result, Thibodeau will get another foul shot. That's a, that's a big play. Corey Thibodeau is uh, inciting the crowd down there. You better be careful. Matt Thibodeau back on the line. He's there for the one-on-one. -on -one. Just one shot. This will be one shot. That's right. Shot. That's right. I'm sorry. Yep. Fires. It is good. That makes it 83-79. Fort Kent with the lead. Melanger bringing the ball up now for the bike. Into the middle. Almost thrown away as Thibodeau, as uh, St. Peter didn't see it. Battle on a base by shot by Raymond is no good. A whistle on a play. He was fouled um, cutting to the basket. I think it was foul was on Neto. Yes, it was. Four fouls on him now. And uh, the break Jeff, for Terry. Jeff Holmes says that's an intentional foul. We want three out of this one. No go. It's going to be Raymond on the line. He's going to have two. Vikings catching a break, though. Uh, 
Stalking the clock and having a chance to put some points on the board. And if they can make the foul shot, they'll have a chance to set up the press. All right. Scott Raymond fires. It's good. Makes the 83-80. Fort Kids lead is three. And he can get it within two with 27 seconds remaining in the ballgame. Caribou has led most of the way. Second shot is good. 83-81. Fort Kent against pressure into the middle. It goes to Matt Thibodeau. Thibodeau looks back now. That's Martin. Martin bringing the ball up. He falls down. Stolen away by Raymond. Raymond wheels. He's down low. Up. It's good. It's healthy. And it makes it 83-82. And now Fort Kent with the ball. They've got 11 seconds. They're up by one. Fort Kent's lead is one. Martin with the ball. Over the midcourt stripe. Down the right side. He puts it up. Bang! And that's going to do it. At the end of the ball game, Martin puts up three, and Fort Kent is going to win it. 86-83, and Martin nails one with one second on the on the clock. And uh, what can I say? Terrible fans just in shock. Oh, what an incredible shot by Ryan Martin, man in his face on the baseline. And Corey Thibodeau's lost his uh, his uniform. <laughs> Holy cow, look at the Fort Kent fans down there. They're really excited as Fort Kent has come back from 18 down, from 12 down, from 10 down to win it. 86, 83, a beautiful three-pointer from the far corner by Ryan Martin with just a couple of seconds to go. The winner, Fort Kent, 86, 83 over the Vikes. And we'll be back with the uh, post-game show right after these messages. Realistic Medical Center, providing you and your family with the best diagnostic equipment available. A CTU is a special x-ray machine that takes three-dimensional pictures and takes uh, slices of the body, all the vessels, and organs inside. Using the new spiral CT scanner benefits the patient with less radiation and time, no traveling south for service, and reduces the need for callback. Investing in new technology today keeps your tomorrows healthy. Realistic Medical Center, your partner in health. At First Citizens Bank, personal service is more than a smile and a handshake. First Citizens Bank loan officers understand Aroostook the County. They'll work with you to make sure that your loan meets your needs. You'll get answers to your questions, prompt decisions, and loan closings at your convenience. At First Citizens Bank... At the Carabao High Gym, and the Fort Kent Warriors have come back from uh, an 18-point deficit early in the ballgame to win it in the closing second by a score of 86-83 over the Caribou Vikes. Here with the wrap-up is Kevin. Okay, for Caribou, Lance Belanger with four points, Adam Pelkey, Jason St. Peter, nine points each, Scott Raymond with 12 points, Ryan Susi, 14, Brett Duty, Caribou's high score, 35 points. For Kent, Brad Foster with one point, Lucas Lebeck with three, Corey Thibodeau, 12 points, Chad Tardy with 7 points, Matt Thibodeau 14 points, and the high score, and the hero, for Kent Ryan Martin, 34 points. Phenomenal ball game, uh, Kevin. What can you say about a team that uh, hustles like that? Uh, you had Jerobo shooting 78% from the floor the first half. Didn't do uh, much better, uh, did just, just as good in the yeah, third period. Definitely only to lose it, a uh, heartbreaker, in the closing seconds as Fort Kent just out-hustled them. And then they drew the foul to get uh, duty out of the ball game, which didn't help Caribou's uh, any. So, you know, just, uh, it's a great ball game, great Aroostook County uh, ball game. The final score, 86-83. Anything you want to say here to wrap it up? Well, just, uh, you know, just thinking about that last play again. Looks like Fort Kent is kind of in some confusion in the backcourt. Uh, Finally, Ryan Martin stepped up. He's the one that turned it over to allow Caribou to tie it with uh, oh, 10, 12 seconds to go. But he stepped up, wanted the ball, uh, and he just came through with a tremendous play, uh, dribbling to the, the right baseline, and a man right in his face, and uh, <laughs> time ticking down, and uh, nothing but net. Just, just awesome. a phenomenal ending. And he's won a game earlier this year, the 410 B. Hodgson. Uh, back in uh, mid-December on a St. Ted's play, but uh, tie ball game, but uh, definitely this, uh, that shot had a
much greater degree of difficulty. Um, but he's just a great touch player, and uh, again, uh, just a phenomenal game between two very strong teams. And uh, I guess that's about <laughs> what, what I can say. You say? I, I'm surprised. A lot of Fort Kent fans down here at this one tonight. Fort Kent's going to be a power, going to be a factor in that Class B tournament. There's no question about that. And they're sixth ranked in Class B. Doesn't tell the story. And that's a, this is the type of game, too, that can turn the season around. Four kind of been playing well, but losing Tuesday, uh, momentum shifting a little a little bit, coming back to win this one, uh, really could propel them to a, to a great finish. And, uh, you know, on the Bangle with a lot of momentum. And Terrible, on the other hand, very, very difficult loss. Uh, they've uh, struggled uh, all season holding leads and uh, much the same tonight. 18-point lead. Uh, 17 point lead at halftime. Uh, Fort Kent just came back, back hard, and you, you got to give them all the credit in the world. Well, uh, Caribou uh, goes away from the gate very, very well, but they uh, have a they have a hard time in the stretch. And uh, this one, final score: Fort Kent 86, Caribou 83. High school basketball brought to you live on Paragon Cable uh, Channel 9 by Walker and Walker, MTG Hardware, Katahdin Plus Company. Perry Medical Center, Ray Chop and Save, Northern Main Tech, First Citizens Bank, Pepsi of Aroostook, Smite's IDA, and the Aroostook Medical Center. Our technical director tonight was John Murchison. Camera operator was Bill Schofield, and on-site engineer was Pat Hardgrove. On behalf of Paragon Cable, uh, this is uh, Wayne Knight, uh, along with Kevin Schoberg. And what do you got, Kevin? Just want to announce uh, the next telecast will be February 7th. Back here at Caribou High School, Trescow Girls coming to Caribou. And uh, that'll be a 7.30 matchup, and we'll be on the air at 7 o'clock. Well, that's, uh, that's good. We'll look forward to that one. Uh, that's what date? February 7th. Well, February 7th. Okay. On behalf of uh, Kevin Schoberg and myself, Wayne Knight, have a pleasant evening, everyone. Good night. <laughs>